you guys. How's How you it doing? Good to see you. Bye. -bye. Uh, nice to meet you, Bill Brotherton. Bill Brotherton, nice to meet you. Bill nice to meet you. How y'all doing? Oh. This is Bill as well. He's uh, here to help me get sure. this uh, raccoon out of here. Sure, so it's sure. a raccoon in there, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. We ah, got so up here this morning. I was sighting a few rifles in. And we hear some scratching. Wasn't too sure what it was. I was kind of ready to take action and looked in there and saw the little guy. And I said, oh, my gosh. I just didn't want him to get hurt. Absolutely. Well, guys, uh, I'm going to jump right into this. You go uh, ahead. We're going to go back to work and just get out of here okay. and yeah. let you work. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, just stand here. There's not enough room for both of us in there and the angry raccoon. So I'm gonna go in, get him, and uh, take it from there. What's up, brother? Whoa. All right, Dad, let me get this. He's uh, a little angry, <laughs> a little upset. He doesn't like that I'm in here with him. Just bring it. Oh. Uh. So this raccoon is pretty upset about being stuck in a dumpster. First of all, it was empty, so that it must have been disappointing for him when he jumped in and found out he's definitely having a bad day. Dad tried to distract him so I could get in and grab him. All right, Dad, I got a feeling like we're about to wrestle. Here well, we go. Well, wait, I'm trying to get him to look at me so you can get that noose over his head. Get him looking at you more, Dad. There you go. Yeah, I don't want a face full of raccoon here. Oh, he's coming after me hey, here. Hey. I try to get him. He's coming looking at, right at me. He's about to take, make a move on me. There we go. Da, 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 da. There make we a go. move on him. There oh, we go. Oh, see, you look, oh, look good. You look good. You look good. Hey, hey. Right, we try to go for him here. Hey, get him. OK. Uh, we got it. All right, Wait. I got him. Wait, no, he's he's got the bit in his mouth. Oh, you're right. Oh, I can't get him. Oh. You, your hoop's too small now. All right. OK. <laughs> Raccoon's got oh. them damn hands, man. <laughs> he keeps using them to pull the freaking noose off. Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to help you here, not hurt you. <laughs> Oh, there, we, there we go. No, uh, Come on, dude. Let's try to get him. Uh, He's pretty smart about that hoop. Yeah, you gotta have a bigger hoop. Okay, I got this hoop around him now. Okay, now tighten it up. Tighten uh, it up. Got yes. Him. Oh no, oh, he got out. Oh. God dang, he's good. All right. Go ahead and pull out that. I got him. Okay, there, there, there. Now, uh, pull it. Oh. Yeah, son, you gotta uh, pull it faster. I'm going in. Ready? Yeah, go in. Three, two, one, go. Oh no! I gotta get him. Oh! Oh! oh. oh I got him. I got him, Dad. Oh, okay, I got him. Good. All right, okay, good. Okay. Oh, 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 I lost him. He's. I lost him. Look out, Dad! I lost him. Look out! Oh! Whoa. Turns out, it's a lot more difficult to grab a raccoon than you think. Whoa! Somebody's going to get bit. Wait, let him calm down. I got him. I got him. Sure? Yes. All right. I got him that time. Oh! There's a loop. We got him, Dad, right here. High five. Or, or the trap. High five the trap. He is good. High five for the trap. High five for the trap. High five. All right, Dad. You're not as fast as I thought you were. What are you talking about? I'm super fast. So I got the guy. What do you if mean? He bites me while we're screwing around talking about your well, speed. He might bite you if you keep with the super fast jokes. Come on. <sighs> All right, cool. All right, Dad. You gotta hurry. Right. He's getting All feisty. Right. Ah. Go for it. Hold on. He's got my. He's, oh, he's got my boot. All right, get him in there. Okay, All right, Dad. Come over behind me. Yeah. Grab the back and release the noose. I got my boot on him. Thank you. Uh, Woo! There we go. Hey, no. Oh. He's a tough one. That took everything I had out of me. It was a cage match I don't want to relive again. Oh, I heard you. Let's get him out of this dumpster, Dad. This is uh, yeah. smelling bad in here. All right, let me get my in. There we go. Whoa, what's up, brother? Uh, good job, Dad. So Dad appropriately named this guy Rocky. We took him out to the wild, released him. He's gonna be fine. All right, Dad, why don't you go ahead and do the honors? All right, come on, tough guy. See you, brother. Take care, stay out of those dumpsters. You're not gonna find one for 100 square miles, but anyway, if you do, stay out of the dumpsters. Adios. Adios, amigo. It's over. You may go. He'll go now. I think he's liking his little hut there. <laughs> Yeah, you're loose. I think he's picked out a little hot spot to hang out in. Uh-oh, I'm in a vulnerable position here. Freeze, Dad. Don't let him smell your fear. 
normally when I open up the cages, they bolt. But this guy, he kind of gangsta strutted out of there, let me know that he's an alpha male raccoon and that he wasn't going to be humiliated by me. Doc Morgan? Hey, Billy. How's it going? Uh, we sure are glad to see you. I'm Dr. Morgan. I'm the zoo director and veterinarian at Cypress Zoo. We take in all orphaned, injured wildlife of any kind, and we try to rehab what we can. Our ultimate goal is to release them, and then we try to educate the public about our wildlife in this area. How's uh, the pets I've been catching doing? Very well. Vexcon takes all the animals here that cannot make it out in a natural setting. We bring them here to the zoo, and kids come here to learn about the animals, watch the behavior of the animals, and it's just excellent for education. My office tells me that uh, once again, you have some animals uh, in the zoo area that aren't caged. They're spreading dung, eating food. These are actually raccoons that are coming in out of the wild and making their home in our barn. And we're worried about disease because we do so much rehabilitation here. And if it's airborne, we're in trouble. Approximately how many raccoons do you think we're dealing with? We feel like there's several. Most of the time we are hearing things and then seeing some problems in the kitchen and in my office and in the walls and above the ceiling. Then we'll go ahead and do an inspection, look around. Uh, if I find any, I'm going to get them out of here immediately okay. by hand, okay. let y'all know when I have a solution. OK, great. Thank you. Thanks, well, thank Billy. You. I guess I'm going to have to get up in that attic and uh, check up there if that's where all the noise is being heard. Oh, look at that. There's just a giant pile of feces. Very fresh, smells worse than the zoo downstairs. Wow, you don't have to be a genius to see what's going on here. These raccoons think they own this joint. Now here's something interesting right here. All these voids are loaded with cobwebs from spiders, except this one. A lot of times when the raccoons are zipping through the wall voids, they clean out them webs. And a couple of them wall voids have been swept clean. Nope, nothing down there. Uh, a lot of that evidence that they are playing down here, but not nesting here. Maybe go down to the bottom and see if I can open up the bottom of this wall here and see if they're down there. Shortcut. I think they might be in this uh, panel right here. They heard this morning, so the key is speed. We're going right in. The smell is uh, strong, but not like the other end. Oh, my bad. They're right freaking here. I got to think fast. I can see how these raccoons are getting in and out by their claw marks. So I'm going to grab whatever I can to try to keep them trapped in so I can try to grab them. I'm trying to pull two raccoons out of a wall. Now, I got them pinned. Now I'm trying to figure out what to do. I think I'm going to use my other arm and cut back into this wall. I was holding with the right hand, took the saw with the left hand, and started to cut. I had to get closer to these two raccoons. If I ever needed Ricky on a job, it's today. But Vexcon's very busy. Mom had to book two routes. Ricky's off doing something else, and I'm here alone today. He's scratching, clawing. I know he hadn't had his shot, so I'm gonna have to be real careful. If I get bit, this could get ugly. <laughs> Ow! Ah! Oh, jeez, don't you bite me, dude. Hit me again! Intense. Because these are babies, I bet there's a mama raccoon hiding around here somewhere. I heard something. I uh, definitely heard something. Oh, there it is! So I see mama 
hanging in a cage. She gave herself away when she was trying to communicate after she heard the baby screaming. All right, cage match. Got a wild raccoon in this cage here. Probably about two, three-year-old mama coon. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a cage on him. Turns out, getting the raccoon into the trap was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna try the net next. Raccoons have extremely dexterous front paws. Uh, she's using them very well, and she's not coming down easily. Oh, Ricky, where are you? Yeah, here we go. All the raccoons I've fought in the years, I've never had one this tenacious. <laughs> Just when I thought I had her, she jumps out of the netting. She's back on the loose. Come here. Whoa, whoa. Okay. She was aggressive, ferocious, fast, agile. She was trying to escape left, right, front door, back door. You gotta be kidding me, man. She gets away from me again? Come on, man. Oh, he's a fighter, too. I finally get her into the cage. She's got to be as exhausted as I am. Oh, sweet. Doc Morgan comes in with water, and as I'm pouring it into the raccoon's cage, I could see she's happy. She's like, thanks for the water, dude. I got two babies, a mama ready for relocation. I'm going to release on an 1,800-acre lot, plenty of food and water. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. The mama and these two babies, they're going to be so much better off, and my barn is too. Look at that big, happy family reunion. Ricky and I are over at the Willis place trying to rescue a raccoon that's run 30 feet up into a tree. And get this, he's got his head stuck in a jar. This is not your average day at the office, even for Vexcon. All right, man, here we go. I'm going real slow with this. I start sawing. The main branch starts to slowly drop down. Okay, here we go, Rick. Get ready. Here he comes. You got him? As the cut limb and the raccoon fell, they got stuck on another branch. Fortunately, the raccoon didn't fall to the ground and hurt himself, but that left him just out of Ricky's reach. Okay, Rick, stay with him, brother. We're all over it, man. I need you down here. Okay, here I come. I come rushing off this ladder, man. Running right over there. Okay, dude, where are we at? We got him. Okay, hold him in the branches, right there. When we got the raccoon in the branch lowered down, I decided to have Ricky grab the raccoon by the back of its neck. Usually we like to use snares or tongs to secure an animal so we don't get bit, but with a jar on its head, I wasn't too concerned about that raccoon biting anybody. Good job, dude, hold him in the... Okay, let go and go straight to the ground. Straight to the ground. Man. Okay, come here, little guy. We pin the raccoon, and we start trying to get the jar off his head. It was a little guy, it wasn't a full-grown raccoon, and he was sweating profusely. At this point, I realized this little guy, uh, he's dehydrated. He needs water. He needs food. Okay, dude, while we got him su subdued, go ahead and get that off of him. In case we lose him, at least the jar's off. I had to take some sheet metal shears and cut the plastic to get this jar off of his head. Yeah. Boom! He's out! Okay. Woo! That was a close one right there. What's up, little fella? How about that, brother? Right here. All right, man. Don't worry, dude. We'll have you to freedom soon. Thank God it's over. No, it wasn't. He stuck his head back in the frickin' jar. Look, he did it again! Of course, he's got right. the bottle back on his head. Dude, man, we're back where we started. 
I wait for just the right moment, lift the cage and grab it out, and fortunately got it right off. I can't believe he stuck his head back in the jar a second oh, time. Oh, man, right off the bat. Fortunately, since you had already had it Way serrated, cut, I yeah. could pull it right off. All right, man, I guess at this point, let's go ahead and find this raccoon a new home, man. Yeah. Oh, hey, guys. Hi. Do you, you want to see the raccoon? Yeah. Is it a baby? It's a baby. Look how cute he is. Well, yeah, thank y'all so much for coming out. I'm really, I'm really glad that it turned out like this. Billy got that raccoon out of the tree, and he's going to take it to a vet, have him checked out, and then they'll release him somewhere, hopefully far, far away from me and my front porch and my peanut butter jars. All right, guy, it's time to get you to a new home. I'm finally able to grab the gator, and instantly he starts freaking out. He is not happy about being drugged out of this water and wants to fight me every step of the way. Oh, he's heavy.